Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. This is a vlog, vlog number 6, and as you can tell in my title here, it's about Jagex screws up on everything. Okay. Alright, so I've got a little bit to talk about here, uh, kind of, but I just want to mention that this kind of ties into my vlog number 4 about Jagex being a money grabber. If you didn't see that vlog, go back and see that vlog. Um, just go to my channel, look up vlog 4. I'll probably create a playlist of these vlogs and make a previous and such. And I'll probably make an end slate eventually. What that is, like at the end of the video, it'll play like a little bit of music or something. And it'll have like, I don't know, maybe like highlights of my last few vlogs or something. Not quite sure what I would do there. Like it'll be like, I don't know, something. It'll probably say like, last few vlogs and... Here's the last couple of videos I've been doing and stuff. I don't know, whatever, whatever I'll be doing. But... To... Tomorrow... Tomorrow... I've got... Another Daily Run episode coming out. And... Yeah. Daily Runs are coming out every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And these vlogs are coming out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I have the entire week set up for episodes... Um, I think it's until March 16th. Yes, about a month still. But anyway, I think they're doing a... I think Jack is doing a live stream in a little little bit here. Excuse me. In a little bit talking about what they plan doing for the 2007 servers since they're guaranteed to come out. So that'll be kind of interesting to see that. I think it's in a couple hours here, so I'm very looking forward to seeing that. Anyway, again, this ties into my vlog number four, so make sure you see that. Uh, since the last vlog, I was going to show my levels, but I don't think I got any levels, honestly, because I don't think, I didn't really play much. I I had, not necessarily surgery, but kind of surgery, and I didn't play a whole lot, and I still don't feel that great, but trying to get through it. Alright, so... Jagex screws up and everything. I don't personally believe this, but I'm just going to state the facts, and then I'll say my personal opinion, kind of. Even though I try not to keep... I don't know. I'll figure it out. So... Sorry, I'm looking out for a text message that I plan on getting quite soon. So... I'm making sure I don't get that and everything. By the way, it's like a huge hailstorm. Not really hail, but it's a big windstorm. So if you hear it, I apologize. Alright, so from some pretty good quotes, not necessarily direct quotes, but some things people say is, this update is terrible. Okay? So, my big thing about a video game is, if you don't like the game, why do you play it? I just, just give me your reason why you play, let's say RuneScape, because that's what this game is. Uh, why do you play RuneScape? Well, I play RuneScape because I enjoy it, and I have fun, and do blah 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 blah. But, you say that every update sucks. And it's this evolution of combat is turning into WoWscape, and it's turning into every other MMO, and they're copying every MMO, and blah 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 blah, and I can go on for days about everything people say. All the rants that I hear. Now, I rant. A lot. It may not necessarily be in videos, but I ran a lot. And it doesn't mean that I ran about how bad the update is. So, I just, it aggravates me so much. Especially, and yes, I will probably be saying names in this, and I apologize to those people that I say their names. Then it'll be pretty much big night team, excuse me, big time YouTubers. But, and I apologize, and I apologize in advance if you don't like my views. But leave a comment as to why you don't like my views, and what you think is better. And I'll be sure to respond. So, people like Rune Shark, they're pretty big in the community, okay? They're they're like I think top dog for RuneScape videos. And Alkin, number one boss. So actually his name, his new YouTube channel is like Alkin R S or something, but you guys should probably know both of them. They're pretty big names in the YouTube community. Well, 
what aggravates me about them, and I like their videos, I'm subscribed to both of them, I watch both their channels and everything, so I'm not hating on them, I just hate how they say this update's terrible, this is the one of the worst updates, blah, 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 and people just jump on that bandwagon, okay? And don't say they don't, because you know they do. If you look at this RuneScape 2007 vote thing, okay, every time somebody uploads a video, if you look at, like, the charts on Reddit, every time somebody updates a video about it, up uploads a video about it, it gets a spike of votes, okay? So, I'm also going to talk about kind of like famous YouTubers anyway in this video. Kind of, I'm kind of like scattered because I have a few topics I want to talk about, but I they're kind of small topics that I can't make it one video piece or else the videos would be like five minutes. So, I'm trying to kind of combine a few topics, but I just, I don't understand how people can, especially famous YouTubers, how they can say something like that, like the update's terrible, but they love this game. This game is their life. It's been their life since they've been a child. Okay, this was their childhood, this game. How could you hate something? Like, yes, I get it. Sometimes the updates aren't great. But, you act like it's the end of the world. Like Rune Shark, for example. They hated the evolution of combat. They thought it was the worst thing in the world before it came out. Now that it's out, they're like, it's okay. I don't hate it, but I wish it wasn't there. But you said when you played it in the beta, it was terrible. It's the same thing as it was in the beta. Yes, there are some tweaks, but it's the same thing. It's the same game. Nothing has majorly changed. So, um, by the way, don't don't make your comment yet because I have a few other things I want to mention. But go ahead and start your comment if you want to talk about that a little bit. Uh, another thing is big YouTubers giving false information. All right, so again, I have one more thing to talk about about saying Jack screws up on everything, but I'm gonna talk about this real quick since I'm thinking about it. Big YouTubers giving false information. This 2007 vote has come out. Okay, there are tons of YouTubers saying you can vote more than once. I'm okay if a comment says you can vote more than once by doing this, this, and this. I'm okay with that. It annoys me, but I'm okay with it. And most of the time, I'll respond to it and saying. You're wrong. You cannot vote more than once. But there's these YouTubers that are trying to act like you can. Okay? So, and I don't know if RuneShark has done it. I'm not really sure because I don't I don't listen word for word everything that everybody says. But I know some YouTubers have done it. And I don't really, I'm not going to go into names here because there's a lot of them that have done it. Lots. They'll say you can clear cookies, change browsers, and you can vote. You know what? If I can vote more than once, how about you prove it to me in a video? Show me you doing it, and then I'll do it, okay? First of all, I won't because I don't really like the whole idea of 2007, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. But show me you voting more than once, and then I'll do it. After you get banned for bug abusing, I won't do it because you will be banned for bug abusing. That's bug abuse for one. Two, it's not possible to do since it tracks under your account not under your cookies. You're wrong. Okay, you are wrong. Know something about something before you comment it, before you make a video about it. Especially if you're a pretty big influence in the RuneScape community. I can't stand when YouTubers try to say something that they've never tried before. They're like, oh, I've heard you can vote more than once. Try it, and then speak about it. Shut your mouth until you're, you know the facts. Because you don't know the facts. Close it before you... Speak. Think. Like my last video, or my vlog 4, that I talked about that. Think before you say something. You big name YouTubers, you know nothing about how this vote works. Right when it first came out, people were giving false information that God Wars is going to be out. That this and this, and then you're going to be able to vote for this and this and this. I'm not seeing these votes. I'm not seeing where you see God Wars is going to happen. I'm not seeing where it says that you're going to keep the same account. Because you're not. Read the FAQ before you talk. The FAQ clears up everything. If yes, you may have a question like, will rares be in it? First of all, I think it's in the FAQ. I'm not certain, so I'm not going to comment on it. But think. Look it up. May okay, I'm okay, though. If you ask a question to your subscribers, like, will rares be in it? Do you guys know? 
But if you go out and say, Rares will be in it, and then your next video, like, oh, I'm sorry, Rares won't be. What? You're not sorry. You're just an idiot. You're trying to give false information out there. For what reason? What are you trying to gain from giving false information out there? I don't understand some people's logic sometimes. It makes no sense to me. I can go on a rant about people, though, for hours on end. The video would probably be like six hours long if I were to rant about people. There's so much I don't like about people. In your comment that you're going to write, don't write that. Don't write, um, well, you're a person, too, because I'll just remove your comment. It could have been constructive until you write, well, you're a person, too. I'll remove your comment. I don't want to hear that. I don't need to hear it. I realize I'm a person. You know what I mean when I say I can rant about people all day. You're just trying to act like you're some awesome 12-year-old kid. Okay. Trying not to use bad words in this in these videos. All right, so saying Jag screws up on everything. One more thing I want to mention, tying into my um, vlog 4, is School of Fortune and Solomon are useless. Jag screwed up by adding Solomon and School of Fortune. They screwed up on that. It was the most useless thing ever. Well, as if you listen to my vlog 4, I discussed they're not money grabbing. They need these things for updates. There are new things out there. They're called taxes. They're pretty new. Um, there's also a new thing called inflation. It's very new. It's like really recent, like happened like two days ago. It's a new thing called inflation. Um, and there's also a new thing called an economic crisis. Yeah. Okay, let's just hypothetically say, which is not true, but let's hypothetically say that only the U.S. is in this economic crisis. It's not true, but let's hypothetically say this, okay? Well, if the U.S. is in a crisis where they can barely afford needs for themselves, they're not going to be buying wants. There's a difference between wants and needs. They're not going to be buying the RuneScape membership. They're, they have less members now than they did five years, two, day, two years ago. Yes, it could be because of updates. But it's not 100% because of updates. People are becoming... People are starting to get have less and less money. They can't afford the wants they want. They can only afford needs. So they stop paying for RuneScape membership so that they can afford their needs for their kids or whatever. Or themselves. Depending on their age group. So, saying these things are useless, they're not. For the people that do have money, they can buy these spins... I don't 100% agree with the School of Fortune, how it works, but I 100% agree with Solomon. I love Solomon. And I don't have many things in the Solomon store. Okay, I I got my um, rune, rune coins from being a gold membership. I've never bought any rune coins because I don't have that kind of disposable income. And actually, well, I do have some, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm not going to spend my money on buying cosmetic items. That's just me, personally. Now I'm cool if you do. Whatever. That's all you. Like, I spent my rune coins on some, like, a bank booster, the pet, and then my Pegasus teleport. Home teleport. Because that's what I wanted. Okay? I didn't spend my, um, my rune coins on, like, it does, it did, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. So, these things aren't useless. Again, I don't 100% agree, though, about the School of Fortune, how you can buy spins and get free experience if you just have a lot of money. But how about those people that have a job, maybe they're going to night school, and they can't be on for hours on end like we can. Not I'm not saying you can. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you personally can, but I think you understand what I mean, is that there's some people that can play longer than others. So instead of playing that long, they could buy spins, spend their money that they got from their job, Instead of using that on food or something, which is a, I don't know. If you have a disposable income and you want to spend on spins to get XP, I'm cool with it. I don't 100% agree with it because it's kind of like, a, uh, not a microtransaction, it's kind of like real world trading is they're giving, they're allowing you to buy money. But the, the thing is, it's, it's a chance. So technically it's not real world trading because it is a chance. That's kind of all I want to mention. Um, again, please leave your comment about everything I mentioned here. I talked about that updates are terrible. People say people are saying updates are terrible. People are saying school of, school of fortune, Solomon are useless, and.
big YouTubers talking or saying false information. Let me know your constructive um, criticism if you have any. Uh, please leave the rating as you th see fit, if you like or dislike. Uh, please leave a comment. Whether you liked or disliked doesn't matter. Please leave a comment. I would love to hear any feedback you want to say. I'm a, I'm cool to go into a a small debate with you or something if you disagree with everything that they say. But don't just comment saying you disagree. Please give me a reason why you disagree with what I had to say. Because if you say you disagree, I'm going to comment back saying what do you disagree with or something. So there's no point in making it short and sweet to begin with. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please rate as you see fit. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog on Friday. Time to go watch that live stream. Thanks so much for watching.